In this lecture we are going to learn about loop control structures. Why do we need loops? In programming wherever we require repetitions we will require loops. Now consider an case wherein you are required to print 10 numbers starting from 1 to 10. Easiest way that we write printf statements like this. But this is not an ideal solution. It is okay to have this logic for printing 10 numbers. What if we are required to print 10,000 numbers or 1,000 numbers. In that case, it's a very tedious job that the developer will have. Also, you can imagine having 10 instructions requiring 20 repetitions. In this case, we are just required to print a single number. But now, suppose there's a stepwise operations which has around 10 to 15 instructions in a single iteration and we are going to require, let's say, suppose 200 iterations like that. So, for 10 instructions, we will need 200 instructions. So in that way, the program will have to write around 2000 statements to complete that logic. However, if these 10 statements are repetitive, so if we use loop control structures, we just need to perform these 200 iterations over these 10 statements or 10 instructions. So that is why when we have this repetition, the loop control structures is an ideal solution.